What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to fix the could not open var lib dpackage status error and also how to fix Cydia crashing instantly even when you're in a jailbroken state on the iOS 10 Yalu jailbreak. So in my Cydia errors video the other day, I said that if enough people requested a video on how to fix this error, I'd make one. So here it is. So before we get into the fix, I just want to explain once again why this error is occurring. So the reason you're getting this error is because you press the erase all content and settings on your device, which is something you should never ever do on a jailbroken device because it does ruin Cydia. So you just need to keep that in mind so you don't ever do it again. And if your Cydia is crashing even when you're in a jailbroken state, that could be due to a few reasons, but it could also be just a side effect of pressing erase all content and settings. So this is my iPhone 5S running on iOS 10.2, and I just pressed erase all content and settings before this video, and actually just re loaded the Yalu IPA onto my device. And now I will show you myself jailbreaking, and then when I come back, you will see that error inside of Cydia. So here is the error I'm getting right now. You can see it's a database error, and it says var lib dpackage status failed, and I can't download or install anything inside of Cydia. And what's weird about this error is this is actually the fourth time I've done this. this is the fourth time I've reset all and fixed it and this is actually the first time I've gotten this error so I just want to make it clear that this fix also works for the same database error when it's all red text as long as it says var lib dpackage status failed this video, this fix I'm gonna be showing you in this video will help fix that error. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead over to our computer. So first of all, you need to plug your device into your computer and make sure you are in a jailbroken state. Then you need to download the lib zip file, which I have down in the description below. Once you've downloaded that, I just want you to extract it so that you have a lib folder just like this. Then we're gonna open up iFunbox. And if you don't have this downloaded already, I will have a link in the description to download iFunbox for both Windows and Mac. Once you're in here, look for your device up in the top left, make sure it shows your device is connected right there. Then you're gonna to navigate to the iBook section. Then you should see these two folders in there right now, which is purchases and sync. And then all you want to do is simply drag the lib folder into that same directory so that it's in there with those other two folders. Now, if you already have files installed on your device, if you already had files installed before you press reset all content and settings on your actual iPhone or iPad, then you don't have to worry about using the computer anymore. You can put the computer aside. But if you don't have files installed on your device, you will need to sideload it. And I will have a link to that IPA down in the description below. So once you've either sideloaded files or you already had it installed, whatever the case, just go ahead and open it up. Then we're gonna to navigate to var and then scroll down to mobile, then to media, books, and then you should see the lib folder right there. And what we wanna do from here is click the edit button, go ahead and select it. Then down here in the very bottom, we're gonna select move. Once you press that, you should see it's in the pasteboard. And then we're gonna go all the way back, just all the way to var right here where you see it says var, click that little pasteboard, and click paste. Then you should see the lib folder right there. And now you should be able to open up Cydia without getting any type of error. As you can see, we don't get an error. We actually get the PP package, which we will be deleting here in a second. But you should be able to open up Cydia now without getting an error. But that's not all. Don't leave, don't X out of the video just yet. There's more to this. Once you're inside of Cydia, I want you to add this repo right here. And then I want you to install iCleaner Pro. It should install these four packages right here. Go ahead and hit confirm and it should go through flawlessly. All right, so now we are back. And I do want to mention also that if you did get an override error right there when we tried to install iCleaner Pro, check the description for an easy fix to that. Now we're going to go to files. And this is how to fix Cydia crashing. So if your Cydia is crashing, you're going to follow this step right here. We're going to be in var, then we're going to go to mobile library, scroll down until you see Cydia. Then we're going to delete this metadata file right here. So hit edit, select it, and then trash, and then hit OK, then hit done. Then you're going to go back to var mobile library, and then you will see caches right here. You want to click on that and then scroll down until you see the one that says soric.cydia right here. Then you're going to hit edit and select that and then hit trash. Hit OK, hit done and now we want to reboot our device. Then when we come back, your Cydia should load up just fine and it should not crash any longer. But if it does, there's one other thing you can try. So you can go into iCleaner Pro, click the little plus icon in the bottom left, click on preference files, and then hit edit and delete the com.soric.cydia plist file. And then after you do this, go ahead and reboot again, re-jailbreak, come back, and your Cydia should load up just fine. Now, if you're still having issues within Cydia, you may want to download Soric's beta repo and update Cydia. So I will have this repo down in the description below, and you will see Cydia installer right here. And all you want to do is click on modify, and then you can either upgrade or downgrade. And I'd suggest trying both. If one doesn't work, just try the other. So once you've done all of that, everything should be up and running just like normal inside of Cydia 
Cydia like nothing even happened. So there you have it guys. That is how you fix the could not open file in Cydia and also how to fix a crashing Cydia on the iOS 10 through 10.2 Yalu jailbreak. So I hope this helped you save your jailbreak. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos related to the iOS 10 jailbreak. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you soon.